Wow, this is really a sad story. Uh, a five-year-old girl was kidnapped, they believe, um, it's by the neighbor. She was found at the neighbor's home, uh, just absolutely horrible. And to make matters worse, they think she's been there for a couple of days. And the house that she was kidnapped from has a dead body inside. So I'm just guessing it's probably the neighbor. This day and age, it's, it, the crime is everywhere. The next door neighbor has kidnapped a child. There's a body inside. Let's look at this um, brief clip, and I'll come back with commentary. Uh, fair use. Kidnapping leads Detroit police to a homicide inside a Detroit home. We are learning more about the abduction that happened in late June. Detroit police tell us a five-year-old girl was taken from her home by a neighbor. And tonight, Detroit police are sharing with us the moments after the rescue. We are told the little girl lit up and told them she wanted to be just like the people who saved her life. You, I want to be what I grow up. What do you want to be? I want to be a policeman. Oh, really? That's Seven Action News reporter Nana Sanchevonsu is outside the homes where this all happened and has the latest on the investigation. Yes, this home right here is where police say they rescued the five-year-old girl out of. And right here next door, where the five-year-old lived is where police found someone inside murdered. If she is on the window, banging on the window, screaming and crying, help me, help me, before the monster get back. Screams and cries for help is all neighbors say you could hear on a late Wednesday evening in June on Schaefer Street. And I say, baby, I can't come in there because I tried to pull the door. But Alfondo Hendricks couldn't get into the home to help a familiar face. I had got her a bike about a month ago because she didn't have no bike to ride, a little pink bike. Detroit police say a five-year-old girl was kidnapped by her next-door neighbor. They believe she was abducted from her home for several days. I don't want to think what would have happened if the community didn't step in. I don't even want to go there. Uh, they saved this girl's life. Detective James Krocheski says the neighbors who did not ignore her cry are the true heroes. Excellent job out here, citizens. Appreciate you. They directed officers to the home the little girl was inside of. As soon as she saw us, she perked up. She jumped in officer's arms. I want to be the police when I grow up. You can hear the child telling an officer that in this body cam video. I want to be a policeman. Oh, really? That's so awesome. There's so much fun. Yeah. Neighbors who know the girl say she's a breath of fresh air. Raynell Jones used to babysit the child. She just, she's a bundle of joy. Actually, I've never seen her sad. Police say this rescue was successful because the community stepped up and called 911. If people were to get involved with other cases from like uh, Patrick Collins or, or Monica Wilson, these cases would get solved. Right now, police are working to solve the murder next door. Investigators found a person dead in the home oh the five-year-old lived in. It just hits home for me. I got a daughter. You know, like I said, I have a child and it's two doors over. After this experience that happened on her street, she wants people to speak up and work with the police. Helping them is like helping ourselves, you know? Sometimes they need a little help too. She said, thanks for calling the police. you welcome. Yes, I'm not too sure if you could hear, but that was a little mm -hmm. girl thanking neighbors across the street for calling the police. Now, as for the person who was found inside this home dead, police say this is still a very active investigation. And once they release details, we will share that with you here and online. For 7 Action News, I'm Nana Cintio Bonsu. Wow, just absolutely horrible. I'm really convinced that more than likely, the person inside is probably uh, the little girl's caregiver. I'm thinking if he kidnapped the child, he or she, um, more than likely, that's probably who killed it, the person next door. Luckily, this man stepped in uh, who bought her a bike and called 911. This day and age, ladies and gentlemen, Everybody's got to be careful. I mean, you think about it. He's living next door. It looks rather unkept. Uh, I'm kind of wondering, did anyone ever call CPS? Because it's not about always money, economic status, but the place does not look livable. It doesn't. It does not look livable at all. So I want to see what happens with the outcome of this here, but another 
tragic story. I mean, this child's been in this for days. We don't know if he killed a guardian to if it's a he or a she. Sometimes women commit crimes. You know, um, how many have, you know, stolen a child, stolen a baby? Oh, I want a child. I want to be alone. So this is interesting. A lot of information uh, yet is still pending, uh, remains to be seen. But this is side in. I mean, sometimes I know it can be depressing and I try to lighten things up, but we have to be realistic. The children in society, they're just not safe. No, nobody's really safe. You know, nobody's really safe. But this here is just sad. So uh, more details, I'm sure, will come. But I'm really kind of wondering, I mean, I'm really guessing the person next door, they kidnapped the child. More than likely, that's maybe who also murdered the parent, the person next door. And if he had her for days, I'm kind of wondering, okay, so no one called the person to kind of check, see what's going on. The neighbors heard the yelling and it was so painful to hear her saying, you know, uh, about the monster. That, that, that part was so very painful. So we don't know if it's a male or female. If somebody has any new information, please feel free to, provi to provide it. But this day and age, it's like every everything is just so unhinged. Everything is so unhinged. You're dealing with mental illness. You're dealing with anger. You're dealing with frustration. And sometimes we're just dealing with, you know, people, in my opinion, they're just evil. So in this day and age, please be careful. We've already had one little boy who was swooped off the sidewalk and his mom and family were walking with him. Somebody gets out of the vehicle and they think it was a mother. I'm sorry, it was a father and son team. And they just grab a five-year-old child in the daytime. The family is within steps of this child. This is how sick and ruthless people are. The world is not a friendly place. I used to be kind of a Pollyanna person. Oh, yeah, this is fine. You know, no, you got to come out of that bubble. The world is not a friendly place. If you see something strange, you know, maybe check it out. If it's people that you know, check on them. And if you're not sure about it, you can always call for a welfare check. But this here, the child was in there for days. So far, she seems, you know, in good spirits. But we don't know what the child has endured. And if she has endured something, something of, you know, something horrible where she was mistreated, then later on down the line, that can manifest itself mentally. It, it really can. It really and truly can. So if anybody has any more details on this, feel free to share it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Be careful. Look out for the children. They're defenseless. And at the end of the day, they're going to mimic what they see. The adults that they're with, guess what? We have to be the protectors. We, I don't. If I had a child, I wouldn't trust anyone. We have to be the protectors. So even if you're watching your kid play, oh, my neighbor's fine. It's a duplex. Get a camera out. Get a camera out. And if it was me, I need to be near. This child's five years old. How he got the child, he or she. Like I said, that yes, that remains to be seen. But, you know, you think about it. Kids can even play in a yard besides getting struck by a stray bullet in some areas or drive by shooting or, you know, some person driving recklessly. You think about it. It can even be a neighbor. And if it's in a, you know, looking at the, the housing situation here, I would be overprotective. So uh, I see it looks like the window is busted out. Something horrible happened. I'm just kind of concerned that unless they were just loners, no one called to say, hey, it's been a couple of days. We haven't heard from this person. Let's go check on them. They have a child. That's the part that's kind of disturbing to me. You know, so if you can find people that are positive, uh, positive vibes, try to establish an alliance with them. Women, especially being mothers, you know, if you all are on the same page um, mentally, okay, you kind of kind of get a gauge for a person, try to form alliances. It's very, very important, especially when it comes to protecting the children. A lot of those that walk around and they're dysfunctional and angry and they lash out. Guess what? Something happens to them quite often as, as a child and they're not, it's not dealt with. A friend of mine had a horrible story. I mean, and I actually saw this. It's like you, you get with a damaged person and try and fix it. You have no idea. Uh, I didn't really think about it, but things happen to people at a very young age and they grow and progress and they can mask it. And then you, next thing you know, strange hate behavior just starts to like trickle out. 
you know, little things start to like, you know, trickle out and you kind of realize, okay, something is wrong here. And you dig, you deep further and further. And then you realize, okay, this kid was abused as an adult and they seem normal around everyone else. But now as an adult woman, uh, the girl, very attractive woman and the stunts that she's pulled and she finally came out with it. When she was a kid, she was abused. And then the parents, instead of getting her help, they just pretty much threw her away with family. They didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want to deal with the outburst. They knew what happened to her. They just turned their heads the other way. They didn't want to deal with the behavioral issues. And this was their daughter, a mother and a father. They sent her off to live with somebody else. So things like this here, man, kids being abused, neglected, horrible things happening, man, they have a long lasting effect. They can try to regress it, but it's there. And a lot of times that's the reason, that's the catalyst for a lot of anger. Anyway, I look forward to hearing your comments. Feel free to, to like, comment, subscribe, and share or dislike. And I am out. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching.